Transmission faults are always a scary thing as most of the time they involve very expensive repairs. However, what if just the gear shift indicator light is not working? It seems like more of an inconvenience than a problem, but it's something worth checking nonetheless. If the gear shift indicator light is not working, the most probable causes are a wiring malfunction, poor connections, or even a broken light bulb. The gear shift indicator control module is also a possible source of the problem. Symptoms of a faulty gear shift indicator light. If you notice that the gear shift indicator light in your car is not working, it is important to pay attention to any other signs and symptoms that may arise. Some of these can include, one, the light doesn't illuminate when the vehicle is put into gear. Two, the gear shift indicator light blinks continuously. Three, the indicator light flickers when you turn on the car. Four, the light illuminates at the wrong gear position. Five, the light does not turn off after shifting into the park. What could cause the issue? There are multiple causes why a gear shift indicator may not work properly. These can include, one, wiring issues. Faulty or loose wiring could be preventing the light from working properly. This is especially true if the vehicle has recently been in an accident and or has undergone some repairs. Two, defective shift indicator switch. A defective switch may cause the indicator to not illuminate, blink continuously, or flicker when the vehicle is put into gear. Three, fuse relay issues. If the fuse and or relays related to the indicator light have gone bad, it could cause the light not to work properly. Four, faulty bulb. A burned out bulb could be the reason why the indicator light doesn't turn on or off when it should. Five, failed gear shift indicator control module. In some vehicles, a control module is responsible for controlling the gear shift indicator light. If the module fails, the light will not work. Key fixes for a gear shift indicator light not working. Once you have determined the cause of the issue with your gear shift indicator, there are some potential fixes that may help get it working again. One, check the car wiring. The first step when checking the wiring of your car is to make sure all accessories are off and the battery has been disconnected. This will help prevent any accidental power surges from occurring while you are testing the system. Once you have disconnected the battery, begin by looking for loose or damaged wires in and around the engine bay. Inspect all connections and make sure they are tight and secure, looking for any corrosion or signs of wear on the connectors as well. Once you have checked for any visible damage to the wiring, it's time to begin testing with a multimeter. Start by connecting one lead from the multimeter to a known good ground source, such as an unpainted metal part of the car body frame. Then connect the second lead from your multimeter to each individual wire, in turn starting at one end of the wiring harness and working your way to the other side. For each wire, monitor the voltage reading on your meter to ensure it is within the expected parameters for that particular wire. If you detect any higher than expected voltage readings or any discrepancies between different wires, this could indicate a problem with the wiring system. In this case, it's important to investigate further and inspect that area of the wiring for any visible damage or corrosion. Depending on your level of automotive knowledge and expertise, you may wish to consult an experienced professional at this point who can help identify and diagnose the issue. Finally, if you are satisfied with all your readings and have detected no problems with the wiring system, then it's time to test continuity. This will involve connecting one lead from the multimeter directly to each wire in turn, while also touching the other lead against a known good ground, such as an unpainted metal part of the car frame and monitoring for low resistance readings on your meter. Low resistance readings should indicate that the wiring is functioning correctly and has no problems. Following these steps when checking a car wiring system with a multimeter, will help ensure the safety and reliability of your vehicle, allowing you to identify any potential issues before they become serious. If in doubt, it's always best to consult an experienced professional who can help diagnose any electrical faults or provide advice if necessary. Two, replace the shift indicator switch. If the system is functioning correctly, but your gear shift indicator light still isn't working, then it may be time to replace the shift indicator switch. This switch is typically located on or near the gear shifter, and is responsible for registering when the vehicle has changed gears and informing the dashboard lights of this change. Replacing a shift indicator switch is relatively straightforward and only requires some basic tools. Start by removing the shift indicator panel to expose the switch and then unplug it from its wiring harness. Next, unscrew any retaining screws that may be holding it in place 
and gently pull the switch away from its mounting bracket. Now you can install the new shift indicator switch by reversing the process outlined above. Plug the new switch into its wiring harness and make sure it's securely connected before replacing any screws or mounting brackets that have been removed. Finally, reinstall your vehicle's shift indicator panel, turn on your engine, and confirm that all your dashboard lights are operating correctly. If everything appears to be working as expected, then congratulations. You have successfully replaced your car's shift indicator switch. 3. Check the fuses and relays. If you have checked the wiring system and replaced the shift indicator switch, but your dashboard lights still aren't working properly, then it's time to check any fuses and relays that are related to them. These components are typically located in the fuse box and can be easily identified by referring to its diagram. Start by consulting the fuse box diagram and locating all fuses or relays that may be associated with your gear shift indicator light. Once you have identified these components, pull each one out of its sockets on the fuse box one at a time and inspect them for any visible signs of damage such as corrosion or burn marks. If any of these components look damaged, then use a multimeter to test them for continuity before replacing them. If your gear shift indicator light still isn't working after testing and replacing any damaged fuses or relays, then it may be time to seek professional help. An experienced automotive technician can help identify and diagnose the issue so that you can get your vehicle back on the road as quickly as possible. 4. Replace the bulb. For many car owners, replacing a dashboard light bulb is the simplest solution to any gear shift indicator issue. This task can be completed in just a few minutes with minimal effort and without needing any special tools or expertise. Start by removing the lens cover on your dashboard's gear shift indicator light to expose its bulb holder. Then using needle nose pliers, gently grip and twist the base of the bulb holder until it comes loose from its socket. Finally, insert the new bulb into the lamp holder and secure it in place before replacing the lens cover. After completing these steps, your gear shift indicator should now be working properly again. If not, then you may need to seek professional help as there could be an underlying electrical issue that requires further investigation. 5. Check and replace the control module. In some cases, your gear shift indicator light may still not be working even after replacing the bulb and checking the fuses and relays. In these instances, you may need to check or replace the control module that is responsible for powering the dashboard lights. Start by locating the control module, which should be located near or around the fuse box in your vehicle. Once you have identified it, use a multimeter to test its continuity before proceeding any further. If it appears to be functioning properly, then move on to checking its wiring system for any exposed wires or loose connections. However, if the control module appears to be damaged, then you may need to replace it entirely with a new one of an identical make model. This job may require professional assistance or a specialist tool, so it is important to seek help if you are uncertain about the process. Once the new control module is installed and all wiring connections have been checked and secured, turn on the engine and test your gear shift indicator light again. If it still doesn't work, then there could be an issue with its programming or configuration, in which case professional help may be necessary. To summarize what we talked about in this video, the gear shift indicator light is vital for a safe and smooth driving experience. So if it isn't functioning properly, you could be in trouble. Symptoms of this malfunction include the light not turning on at all, randomly illuminating when it shouldn't be, or showing incorrect gear readings. Faulty wiring connections and faulty switch indicators are some common causes behind these issues, as well as damaged bulbs or failed control modules. I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and follow so you don't miss any of my videos.